What's cracking TNC squad? It's your girl Cece and I'm back with another banger. So in the, I just in my last video, so that's why I'm on the same exact shirt and this is makeup, so don't mind it. But you see what I got rolled, so we're gonna smoke and chat. Um, I know y'all want cooking videos and stuff like that. I'm gonna try to get back to those this week. Yeah, this week for sure. Like probably on tomorrow, cause tomorrow maybe tomorrow actually, cause tomorrow's Tuesday. So I don't know, maybe tomorrow. But yeah, so I got this roll, and we're using Dutchies. Like, that's just period so i want to chat with you guys you know get you guys up to date and to speed with everything but before i do that if you're new to my channel make sure you like this video subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to be notified every time i post another banger back to back just like this one you guys will see this video tomorrow but y'all will see my video i just filmed today i'm actually waiting for my thumbnail maker to get back to me she said she was really busy so you know she'll get back to me when she can and then i'll upload that video for you guys but i just want to give you guys like a little update or a chat i know y'all liked it when i was like chit chat with you guys giving you guys tea and stuff so somebody commented and wanted to know like more um, y'all wanted me to elaborate more on why i don't speak to my father so or history back in the day with my father so father i know you ain't watching this video but if you are watching this video because somebody shows you this video um this ain't no hate or no shit i mean this is hate towards you but this ain't no shade this is shade to you i don't know what to say just know i'm telling them my story you know my story on how it ha what happened to me but let's go on with the video so when i was a child When I was a child, y'all, my dad used to be around me all the time. Like, he paid for me to go to daycare. And, you know, he did a lot. Like, he really did. Like, he did a lot when I was a kid. Um, But that was before my little sister was born. That was before my little sister was even, like, coming. You feel me? And then when I was four years old, my dad dropped me off at home. And he told me that he, would be, he was going to come right back. He just had to go do some or go to work. I can't remember what it was. It was one of the two, though. Like, it was one of the two. Mind y'all, I'm four. So, I remember the story. Like, I remember all my trauma, to, like, welly. So, that was that. So, like, he told me he was going to come back. And he just, like, never came back. Like, I ain't never. I think that's when, like, he found out my mom was pregnant. And it was that last day he picked me up from school. And... The, the school that he paid for and he just like never came back like i didn't ever like see or hear from him again and that was when i was four and then i think when i see and then um a lot of stuff had happened and he was like i'm not gonna say exactly what he was saying but just know he was telling my mom to do some wrong things to my little sister i'm not gonna really elaborate because that's my little sister's business and i don't want to be saying all of that but Yeah, he was telling my mama to do some really bad things that like, shouldn't no man tell a female to do to their child, period. Because you ain't got no say so. This ain't, this is your child, but you ain't the one carrying it, period. So, yeah, he did that. And then I had, like, never seen him again. And then my mom, she basically, he wasn't calling us or texting us. So, my mom moved. And my mom never told him where we moved because it was just like, okay, well, if you want her to do this, then you need to call us like you're never calling us when are you gonna call us so we had never got a call like ever gonna call from him um ever like i mean i'm not gonna say ever but i think when i was four he didn't even come back around until like i was like five i think he yeah i think i was like five and he came to our house and my mom hit my little sister upstairs 
like we had like a, a little one area and then you went up some steps and we had another area so my mom had my little sister upstairs and he basically came and he yeah he came and he had seen me and he heard a baby crying and he figured out that that was my little sister upstairs but that's like a little backstory on back in the day and how i grew up but i really grew up with like a single parent household my mom was my parent my whole life uh he didn't really come around my mom used to call and beg him to pick us up and just take us to do something and she would even tell him you could use my car i will give you the money you just need to spend time with them and he never would he never wanted to so you know like as you get older you start to peep things you feel me so and then when i lived i lived we we had moved with my grandma to help her i'm not gonna put her business out there but we moved with my grandma to help her save her house basically and um when we did that then out of nowhere he started to want to come around again and he used to bring my siblings over um yeah my my siblings whitney william natalie and layla we always hung out as kids like when we was kids we always used to go to the same park with each other and hang out um he would bring them over and my mom would go meet him at a park and we would all play and hang out and that's how we you feel me seen him but it never happened that often it was like every so often and then like they would come to our house and hang out for a little bit we ride scooters and you know play with each other and do shit like that so that was when i was younger i used to go to his house like i think i was like three i used to go to his house and that's how i knew my older siblings because i used to go over to his house so much so i had knew them a little bit you can say a little bit you can say so then fast forward i had moved mom he did start like coming around a little bit and socializing with us a little bit and then my mom and him used to like stay in contact and it came time for us to move from my other house and my mom wanted to buy a house and she knew that he was really good with like finding good neighborhoods so him and his other kids they live in mount healthy and you know it's like a ghetto or school and he told mom that he did not want us going to no ghetto school so because we already was living in the hood like y'all if you're from cincinnati we lived in price hill our whole entire life so we lived in a, the hood the whole entire life our whole entire life until six years ago so i'm 19 six years ago y'all can do the math and he told us where to move and we moved out here and we bought our house and yeah like just from there we don't really see him or talk to him or anything like that y'all didn't even tell that man i was pregnant so that's like a little backstory of him because y'all always ask me because y'all always see mom or you know hear me talk about her but i don't really talk about him because what am i talking about him for so yeah that's that and then what else should i chat with y'all about i do want to tell y'all if you haven't watched my tiktok you're missing out like you you watching this video you 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 watching this video you're missing out two of my tiktoks that went viral already so thank whoever is watching them thank you because two of my videos went viral you know they got the tea with the baby whole situation so i did a tiktok it's can i have back my baby and i inserted clips of when i was pregnant with tay hold my stomach and stuff which y'all haven't even seen those only tiktok has seen those and they went viral so the one is at eight thousand and like 300 views and then i did another one it was i told you guys like how when i lost my baby in 2020 and then how after i lost my baby i got really suicidal like really suicidal so if that offends you don't go watch that video but yeah i got really suicidal and then i told you guys how i lost my grandma a day before my son's first birthday So yeah, they were viral. And I was just like geeking. Like I woke up the next day and the one had went viral because I didn't even create the other one yet. The one had went viral. Like two days of it being up. And I was like, who? 
poop. It had like 3,000 views when I woke up and I was like, oh my God, like I was so geeky. And then another day, and then it was like, that day had was kept going on and I just kept watching the views going up and up and up. And it had hit like 6,000 views and it got stuck at 6,000 views, 6,000 and like 500 views for like to a day and then the next day i woke up and it had eight thousand today and i was like i seen it hit eight thousand and i was like oh my god like on saturday it had hit four thousand because i was in kroger's and i was like oh my god tell you, like my tiktok just hit four thousand views and i had ended up making that other one because i seen other people was making it and i ended up making it and that one is at like seven thousand views right now either six or seven thousand views i'm not really sure i haven't really been on tiktok that much today but i am gonna get on there because i need to create a video but i've been trying to like stay up to date because like right now i have like 500 500 followers and i have like almost 2000 likes so i'm trying to like keep posting so i can keep my tiktok growing because as much as i'm growing on youtube i want to grow on tiktok as well which people keep telling me you only make like 16 cent off a video but to me it doesn't even matter like i just want to have fame on every single app such as instagram which i already know my instagram my tiktok is always in the description down below you just you know i don't have it to where you can click on the chat i need to get it like that but i always do put them in the description down below like always always some days i'll be lazy and i don't do it because y'all let me tell y'all so the last couple videos when i have put tiktoks in there to like show y'all the tiktoks um i had forgot to mute the sound and they had got copyrighted so i had to take them down you know go through re-edit them and silence them and resave them to my phone lord you already know how long that if you're a youtuber you know how long that takes like i had to literally want the one day the video was at 60 views in like five minutes and i had to take it down and re-put it up with the silence tiktok like with a silent tiktok and when I re-put it up, it took it so long to get views. Like, I think it's because so many people had already watched it. It took it so long for the video to even get views. Like, I was about to delete it. But now, the video's at, like, 300 views. So, I'm not really mad. But, you know. You know. I mean, I do. Like, it was a lot of work for that video. So, I wanted that video to get some views. Because I had worked hard. I had to already take that video down and put it back up. So, while we chatting let me just go ahead and tell y'all because i didn't really like give y'all a clear thing so i have this soap and glory heel genius y'all this is really like a genius i promise you so like this is foot cream it's hydrating foot cream and i got this from walmart and i really love it like i had just seen it laying there and i picked it up and i was like oh my god like i seen this girl on tiktok using this and she said she used it every single night she had the other one too but i couldn't find the other one i could only find the heel genius so i was like i gotta get it like and i used it one time and i have this other ointment that this that the doctors gave me and when i tell you guys my heels were so soft for like two to three days like so soft but i just haven't did my feet in a minute but and or put this on because you guys don't even know i don't want my nails to be changing colors which i should have just did it when i didn't have these on but and i got these nails off shein and i was so mad y'all i put them on on saturday and i was trying to i was holding my little cousin yeah 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 i know her and i was putting her car seat in the car and my aunt on my aunt's rental because y'all know she was in town or whatever was going to the store so i was trying to put it in the rental and the freaking corsi had dropped and the whole middle finger had popped off so i just put these two beige they look white on here or clear but they're beige put these two beige ones on there and then this hand looks like this and this hand looks like this well like this so i'm like bro i was low-key salty but it's okay i need to get on shan order me some more for real it'd be so hard but I need to get on there and order some more. Y'all want a Shein haul? Comment down below if y'all want a Shein haul. Um, and if y'all do, do y'all want, what do y'all want? Like, because I've been get, doing a lot of clothing Shein hauls. And I'm not going to lie to y'all. Shein has not been having no cute winter wear. Like, y'all know I love what I love doing Shein hauls. But their winter wear is just like, 
I don't know. Like, I don't know what kind. I don't like their jeans because I wear American Eagle jeans. And then when it comes to their pants, like, I have almost every color of their stacked pants. Like, the leather ones, I have a pair of those. So, it's like, I don't need two. And then I have the black tights with the rip at the bottom, with the little stitch at the bottom. I have those. I have a million pair of the stack ones in black, like, a lot. Like, three of the stacked black ones. Then I just bought another pair that I need to find because I had lost. And they're in the closet somewhere, but they're still lost. And, yeah, like, oh, my gosh, y'all. I have so much of Shein that are pants. So, it's just, like... I don't know what to do. Do y'all want an accessory haul? Do y'all want me to get jewelry? You know, I got this chain off of there. I do be getting jewelry. Y'all want a nail? What do y'all want? Comment down below. What do y'all want? What kind of videos? Like, I know y'all want cooking videos. I know y'all want smoking videos. I mean, I do smoke a lot. So, I could do a lot of smoking videos. So, do y'all want smoking videos? Tomorrow's Tuesday. Tay's off. I'm going to try to ask him, can we do a boyfriend tag? But, we need questions. So, comment down below questions for the boyfriend tag. Please, like please because if y'all don't have questions i don't know what y'all want to know between the boyfriend tag because i don't even know what a boyfriend tag is like i don't watch those anymore because like they were back in the day to me so it's like i really don't know comment down below if you like my makeup today i had mixed the two i had mixed my light color foundation from the dollar store with my concealer that i got from my years that was like eight dollars and you know i did my eyebrows my eyebrow pencil you already know and then i did my lips earlier but i had to wipe it off to smoke so and my lashes this is the brand lashes i have on today this is the not this is not the style but this is the brand this is the brand lashes you already know nails from Shein. and with that being said i guess we're gonna just hop up out of here unless y'all wanna know what spray i have on today today i have on which one was it it was this one Today, I have on champagne toast, you know. I have this one on today. And then I had put this one, a little bit of this one. But, you know, these are the two. Perfumes I have on today. Oh, these are the two. You feel me? And then when it comes to lotion, y'all already should know when it comes to lotion. I have on that Baby Dove lotion. This smells bomb. Like, this smells so freaking good. But, yeah, I'm probably finna figure out what I'm finna eat today because I haven't ate nothing yet. Like, I haven't ate nothing yet. I'm gonna try, I'm putting on my heel genius tonight. Zone play. And the deodorant I have been using, y'all, I have fell in love with this deodorant. I just gotta update y'all. But let me turn this the right way. But I have fell in love with this deodorant. So, you guys know the Speed Stick Irish Spring Charcoal. It's in the men's section. So, we have this same exact one, but it's fresh. And this is a gel version. And we use this for tattoos. But it's, honey, when I seen this, the dry 24-hour protection charcoal, I bought this one. And I promise you, like, I think I like this deodorant better than I like Dove. And I never thought I would say that because I love Dove deodorant. But for me... Dove deodorant, I like to, f like, feel fresh the whole time. And with Dove deodorant, I don't feel fresh. This is the only thing that makes me feel fresh. So, if you haven't already, go get this. With that being said, I'm going to head out. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post another banger. Back to back, just like this one. Peace. See you in the next video.